is up everybody it is your boy jay figs back with another video man finally bro i'm finally back finally back with the content for you guys uh i know i took a really really long break this time and i just want to say i'm really really sorry for that man i did not mean for that to happen at all but if you guys did want to know i just started school so that's been taking up like majority of my time i've just been taking a lot of tests doing a lot of homework and whatnot so i've been kind of stressed out and haven't really had time to upload but guys i'm finally back I'm gonna try to manage my time a lot better so i can put out more videos for you guys i believe we just hit around 600 subscribers so man we're so close to a thousand it's honestly just unreal guys i can't believe it i never even thought this channel would hit more than 100 subscribers to be honest with you but guys enough of that man let's get right into these figures as you guys can see man we got some crazy crazy pickups man so let's just get right into this now guys before i do go ahead and just crack open these figures i do want to say that this seth rollins that you guys see here i'm probably going to unbox it for you guys today but i probably won't get into too much detail since you guys have already seen me unbox the figure on the channel i will throw up a little uh, link right here if you guys do want to go watch that video just the solo review of the seth rollins but enough guys let's just go ahead and crack these figures man let's go if you guys are new to the channel, man, get ready because this is what we call the trusty bape knife. Let's get it. Oh, wow. Now, I actually don't need the bape knife for this first figure. I'm going to go ahead and crack open this basic uh, Series 134 Seth Rollins in this blue, baby blue suit. My mom actually found this at the 99 cent store and uh, she just grabbed it because she thought it would be cool for my video so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and crack this open i actually do need more uh suited figures so kind of came in clutch actually shout out to my mom but uh anyways guys let's just crack this open right here boom got that clean suit man got the white kicks on them boom crack that open oh actually really clean all right i'm gonna go ahead and get into some closer detail towards the end of the video guys but here's just a little quick rundown of the seth rollins nothing too crazy throw them to the side right there boom gonna go ahead and open up the john moxley now guys let's get into that now, I actually found this John Moxley at my local Burlington, as you guys can see there, for $4.19. So, originally, I believe it was $5.99, as you guys can see there. Uh, you know, it was blowing up that a lot of WWE figures and AEW figures have been making into stores like Marshalls, Burlington, and Ross. So, uh, yeah, I actually went there, and then I saw this, and it was actually even more discounted, even more on clearance. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I do need more John Moxley figures, so pretty cool to get this one. But enough talking, guys. Let's get right into this. Oh, open them up. Boom. Boom. Boom, get me in there, man. I'm tired of tired of waiting. Boom. Crack this guy open right here. Oh man, my light. Oh my god. Now that's what I call an insane unboxing, but guys, let's go ahead and crack them open. Uh if you guys didn't see what just happened there. Oh, oh. If you guys didn't see what just happened there though my light just fell and it completely broke but i was able to fix it uh thank god because you need light for the video but man this figure is actually quite loose uh like i said i'll get into more details of all the figures towards the end but uh yeah pretty cool john moxie there i'm honestly not even sure if he's gonna be able to stand up oh man this figure is really loose guys really really loose <laughs> holy hell uh, i guess that'll do for now all right guys let's go ahead and get into this angelo dawkins now let's go now guys this is actually a figure i have been waiting to crack open for so long i've actually had it in my room for like a month uh but i haven't had any other figures to unbox with it i didn't just want to do a solo unboxing of one figure that would have been quite boring and quite pointless to be honest so finally thank god i have some other figures to unbox with him because man like i said i've been waiting to crack this figure open easily one of the figures i've been the most excited for this year man but yeah guys like i said man easily one of the figures i've been the most excited to open uh street profits are actually one of my favorite factions in the wwe i'm pretty sure they're going heel right now i'm not sure but yeah guys this figure is absolutely sick like i said again gonna go ahead and take a closer look at the end of the video so uh let's go ahead and open up the andre now guys let's go now, like you guys know, I obviously do try to keep my Ultimate Edition boxes very, very clean and in very good condition. So, gonna go ahead and be a little bit more careful while unboxing this figure. I actually found this figure at Target. It was just sitting there, man. I was so hyped. There was like three Andres sitting there. So, if you guys don't have this Andre, make sure to go check your local Targets, man. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a bunch just sitting there. Uh, but yeah, look, let's go ahead and crack this figure open. Comes with that beautiful belt that I love so much, as you guys know. Right A 
and here is the Andre guys finally all out of the packaging looks freaking absolutely mental man uh, it's a big ass figure to be honest with you guys I can't even stand Andre up this guy's so big but anyways guys let's go ahead and open up the last figure which is going to be the ultimate edition Seth Rollins all right guys now let's go ahead and crack open this Seth Rollins uh, like I said though guys I already do have this figure I believe I have like four of this figure now um I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to tell you guys you guys gotta grab this figure if you don't already have it man easily the best ultimate edition in my opinion man it's simple really man this figure is just absolute perfection absolute 10 out of 10 in my opinion uh in my humble opinion obviously gotta be very careful here I don't want to knock anything over I already set up the figures in the perfect positions uh boom throw that to the side Oh man, let's go ahead and crack open the figure. Boom. 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 Now let's get all these accessories real quick. Boom. Boom, guys. Now, here are all the figures finally completely out of the packaging. Uh, gonna go ahead and get into some closer, more in depth detail of all of them now. So let's go ahead and get into that, guys. Let's go. Now, guys, here are all of the figures, man. Looking absolutely goaded. I'm going to go from left to right and actually go into some better detail into all of the figures. So let's go ahead and get right into that, guys. Let's go. Now, starting off first, you have the basic. I believe it was, what, 134? Yeah, 134 Seth Rollins in this nice little baby blue powder blue, whatever the hell you want to call this, UNC blue uh, suit. Uh, looking pretty saucy, man. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to change this head sculpt, actually, and probably throw on one of the... Uh, the new ultimate head sculpt that I got from this Seth Rollins right here, as you guys can see. He's got like some paint scuffs right here, some little brown and black paint scuffs all over the head. I'm not really sure why they put a rubber band on the basic figures. It doesn't come with any accessories or anything. But uh, yeah, nothing too crazy with this figure, guys. Got some white kicks right there, some white uh, like dress shoes, uh, powder blue pants, powder blue coat, white t-shirt. Looking like a white tie there as well. The head sculpt is pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. I never really liked this head sculpt for Seth. But like I said, guys, I'm probably going to swap on a new head sculpt. And I think this figure would be an absolute 10 after that. So pretty cool. Nothing too crazy, though. Let's go ahead and move on to the John Moxley now, guys. Let's go. So, guys, the next figure is actually going to be this John Moxley. If you guys didn't hear me earlier, I said this figure was absolutely loose. For whatever reason, he just doesn't want to stand up. Uh, he is on ball joints, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think all AEW figures are on ball joints. So they tend to become quite loose, uh, which I actually don't really like at all. But, I mean, it's nothing too crazy. I already have another John Moxley figure in my collection. So, I'll probably just use that one instead of this one. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't pass up on it for 4 bucks. Uh, usually, these figures retail for around, like, $20. He also comes with this nice little black, like, hoodie uh, jean jacket thing. I don't even know what the hell you would call this. Just looks like some jacket, hoodie thing, whatever the hell you want to call it, man. I don't know. It's got that nice little pissed off head sculpt with a terrible haircut. Not even faded, man. Looking absolutely garbage. Uh, yeah, I don't really like John Moxie as a wrestler either, to be honest. I think he's pretty corny with all the blood and stuff. Uh, but yeah, like I said, man, couldn't pass up. Four bucks is an absolute steal for wrestling figures nowadays, so couldn't pass up. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and move on to the Andre and all the damn accessories that he comes with. So guys, getting into Andre now, here is a closer look, man. He has this absolutely insane head sculpt, man. Uh, I never saw Andre the Giant in real life, obviously, but, you know, from pictures, I can obviously tell what he looks like, and, man, this is literally a one-to-one. -one. This is absolutely insane. Uh, only, only uh, real complaint that I have with this figure is the scuff marks. He has quite a lot. I don't know if you can tell on a camera, but he's got a few here and there. Like, he's got a pretty gnarly one right here on the shoulder, as you guys can see. He's got one right here on his belly. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but... Other than that, I don't really care. He's also got some pretty jacked arms. I don't know how big his arms really were in real life, but these are like some Gunther arms. I don't even know what the hell, man, but they're freaking huge. Uh, yeah, pretty basic, though. Just a black singlet. Uh, got the nice little curly head sculpt. Curly hair head sculpt. Sorry about that. I got a freaking absolutely insane back. As you guys can see there, the guy's been freaking doing some crazy lap pull downs. He's got the buns right there with the little crease in the butt cheeks on the singlet. Toe joints there, as you guys can see as all ultimate editions have now let's go ahead and look at his accessories man because he comes with a ton so let's get into those now now to start let's go ahead and get the boring ones out of the way he comes with a plethora of interchangeable hands he has these pointed hands right here by default i forgot to mention he comes with choke slamming hands i believe yeah choke slamming hands he also does come with some closed fists pretty boring nothing too crazy about those right there and then he comes with like these uh i don't even know what the hell you would call these man uh just some weird ass hands they're like i don't even know what the hell to tell you about these guys uh they're just pretty weird uh, i'm not gonna lie let's move on though he comes with this beautiful andre the giant world 
heavyweight champion, man. Absolutely beautiful belt. This is the black strap. Uh, I already do have the blue strap because I bought the, uh, what was it? The Elite 100 uh, Andre from Target. Yeah, I believe it was the Elite 100. But yeah, I have the blue strap and now I have the black strap, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, like I said, when I unboxed that figure, I absolutely love this belt, man. This is such a good looking belt. Has the big globe right there. It just looks really prestigious in my opinion. Uh, I don't know. Something about the belts nowadays, they don't have as much prestige as they used to. But, yep, looking absolutely sauce. Moving on, he comes with this big ass t-shirt. Says Andre right there with his hand, I guess. Nothing too crazy though, like I said. Just a plain white t-shirt with the big ass hand and the Andre and like cursive or something. I don't know. He also does come with three extra head sculpts. Here is just this like nice little basic focused. Uh, he kind of looks like menacing in this head sculpt. I'm not going to lie. Uh, another paint scuff there. Like I said, this figure has a problem with a lot of paint scuffing. Not going to lie. But um, but nonetheless, looks absolutely goaded. Uh, moving on though. Next is like this smiling, like weird head sculpt. Has these like really yellow teeth in there. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video or the camera, but he's got these like really yellow ass teeth right there but nonetheless man it's pretty freaking awesome uh pretty cool andre head sculpt and uh yeah my least favorite head sculpt this one um what the hell is this man he's got like also like some plastic like i don't even know what the hell that is it's, like coming off his head though uh kind of unfortunate we'll never use this head sculpt regardless though it's super damn ugly i uh, got the tongue there the yellow teeth again looking pretty just horrible i'm not gonna lie i probably never ever use this head sculpt uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Andre and his accessories, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to Seth Rollins, kind of. But yeah, guys, moving into Seth, if you haven't watched my other video or if you just don't want to watch my other video, here is the figure. It has this crazy, crazy uh, cloth accessory jacket, man. Absolutely beautiful. I always hype up this figure so much on pretty much all my videos. Uh, I think this is like the standard right here. This is absolute perfection, in my opinion. The gear is absolutely insane. There it is. It's just super colorful lines all over. Got the new kick pad mold uh double jointed toes right there or toe joints or whatever the hell got the ripped up torso there got the black wrist tape comes with mic holding hands on by default has that beautiful head sculpt that i threw on there because the one that comes on by default is pretty terrible in my opinion but this head sculpt man just looks absolutely beautiful encapsulates the seth rollins aura the guy's a little rat the guy's a little menace so this is my favorite seth rollins head sculpt of all time uh but yeah, let's move on to the other head sculpts that he does come with he comes with this nice little yelling head sculpt this one also in my opinion, encapsulates the Seth Rollins aura very, very well. Has the faded beard there. I noticed that the beard is like brown on this one. I'm pretty sure the one that I got like a long, long time ago, his beard was like black and it wasn't faded. So uh looks like they made a change, like a running change. I could be wrong though. I'll have to double check that later on today. But yeah, here's this like yelling head sculpt. And the one that comes on by default is just this basic, just resting face, pretty serious Seth Rollins. It looks really, really good. I won't even lie. Like if you guys can see that right there, that angle right there looks absolutely beautiful. Looks just like Seth Rollins, but I'm not a big fan of it. I personally like my Seth Rollins figures to have like more of like a funny looking face, like a yelling face. I think it's just something that encapsulates him better. And it just looks better when posing or like when displaying the figure. So uh, yeah, it's my preference for Seth Rollins figures. He comes with a ton of hands as well. He comes with these Kawhi Leonard chop hands, I call them. Uh, yeah, these are just pretty basic. Comes with like every other figure. Also some Randy Orton, like uh, Jeff Hardy hands here. Nothing too crazy, you know, when he does his entrance. And he comes with closed fists as well. Pretty basic, literally the same hands you get with every other figure. But that's pretty much it for the Seth Ultimate Edition right there, guys. Let's go ahead and move into the last figure, which is going to be the Angelo Dawkins Elite 103. Absolutely insane figure as well. So let's go ahead and move on to that one. Finally, guys, the last figure of the video, man. It's going to be this beautiful Elite 103 Angelo Dawkins, man. Uh, in this, like, Miami Vice kind of gear. I don't even know what the hell you would call this. Uh, I saw, I think, My Damn Toys call it the Miami Vice. I'm not sure, bro. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool gear, man. It's got, like, this nice, like, cotton candy, like, bubblegum pink. And then this nice, like, bright, strong blue that I really do like for the gear. It says Street Profits right here on his jersey, number six. Uh, Dawkins on the back, number six. I'm pretty sure uh montez ford has the 23 uh jersey i'm pretty sure this is like homage to uh lebron james i'm pretty sure i could be wrong though but yep got like the pinstripes dawkins right there on his nutsack got, like the basketball shorts the mold is pretty fire he's got a new uh body torso mold because the freaking first original angelo dawkins figure was absolutely atrocious if you guys know what i'm talking about uh yeah you know that figure was absolutely awful he's got these like sleeved legs i don't know like 
He's got like leggings under or something. I don't know. And then he's got these black uh, sneakers that are absolutely horrible. If you guys know, the ankles just get really loose with these uh, shoes on. And they just, the figure can never stand up on its own. It's just always falling. He's got some pretty jacked arms, to be honest. Comes with like white, I mean, sorry. He comes with blue wrist tape there. And then white wrist tape on the other hand. By default, he comes with these uh, kawaii hands. And then here's the head sculpt, just him yelling. Uh, I can't really see his teeth. Like if you're doing this, you can't really see his teeth. So I think that looks kind of dumb. Maybe in the future, if we get a better Angelo Dawkins head sculpt, I'll probably throw it on there because that looks pretty terrible. He also comes with this headband. What does it say? Uh, what humble smoke season. I don't even know what the hell that means. But yeah, that is pretty much it for Angelo Dawkins, guys. He does come with some extra hands here. Uh, I forgot to show. He comes with some microphone holding hands. So I'll probably throw those on. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for all the figures, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap up the video, man. But guys, it's going to be it for today's video, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I do apologize for taking such a long break. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, man. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell if you guys never want to miss another upload. If you guys just do like this type of content, if you guys like wrestling, if you guys like action figures, man, this is the place to be. I promise you guys I will be pumping out as much content as possible. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are going to be the day. Bro, freaking Angelo Dawkins, man. Are you serious? <laughs> All right, whatever, guys. I'm just going to leave Dawkins there. Uh, yeah, like I said, man. going to be uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from now on. Uh, we're so close to 1,000 subscribers. Again, thank you guys so much. But uh, yeah, guys, it's going to be it for me today. Peace out. Got another video on Friday. So yeah, see you then, guys. Peace.